Hi everyone, I'm Evangelist Rebecca No. I just want to talk about the time we are in. We are at the end of the age. Just like the Bible said, all what the Bible said is about to happen now. So we've got to live knowing that we are at the end of the age. What the Bible said will happen is started to happen. What Revelation 13 says is started happening. So we've got to live knowing that we are living at the end of the age and the mark of the beast is here. It has already been authorized in some European countries and the law was passed in March in some European countries that the, the ID 2020 will be passed and people will be forced to take the, the vaccination for coronavirus and it, those that will refuse, they will be arrested, they will be taken to court, they will be taken to prison. But we have got to live knowing that it, we are living at the end of the age and we have got to say no to the mark of the beast. No matter what they say, we should not accept it. We, we were foretold, we were forewarned, and we were told before about the time that we are living in now. And what the Bible said, what our Lord Jesus Christ said is about to happen. And just like the Bible says in John 9 verses 4, we must quickly carry out the tasks assigned to, uh, to, to us by the one who, who sent us. The night is coming and then no one can wake. So we are facing the night time that our Lord Jesus Christ spoke about in John 9 verses 4. Night is coming when people with, without the mark of the beast will not be able to travel. So we'll not be able to, to travel, we'll not be able to go to church. Already people cannot go to church, but it's going to get worse when they give the mark of the beast and those that refuse to take the mark of the beast because they are Christians, they'll be unable to travel, they'll be unable to go to church, they'll be unable to preach because they don't have the mark of the beast. It is the night time that our Lord Jesus Christ was talking about. I'm just here to let you know that, that the night time that he was talking about is about to come. So we've got a very short time before this mark of beast, the beast is introduced. We've got a, we've We've got a very short time to do with the work of the Lord. We have got to do all we can in this short time that we have got before the mark of the beast comes, before the night comes that our Lord Jesus talked to us about. So we are facing the end of the age. The, the night time is coming when no one will be able to go to, to do work. No one will be able to preach a word. No one will be able to go to church. Christians will be persecuted. Christians will be taken to prison. The Bible says in Matthew 24 verses 9, then you will, you will be arrested, persecuted, and killed. You will be hated all over the world because you are my followers. 10 says, and many will turn away from, from me and betray and hate each other. So we are coming to a time where Christians will be hated, Christians will be persecuted, Christians will be forced to take the mark of the beast, Christians will be taken to prison because they refuse to take the mark of the beast. We, that come, time is coming, that time is approaching, that's why I'm here just to say the time that our Lord Jesus Christ spoke about is about to happen, is about to come, so we've got to live knowing that the time is coming. We should not do what Mark, 9, Mark, Mark 24 verses 10 says, that people will, will, be, will turn away and they will betray each other. We should not betray each other, we should support each other, we should love each other. We should not be fighting against each other. Christians should not be fighting against each other. Christians should be supporting each other. Christians should be loving each other. Christians should go through it together, united. We should not be, there should be no time for betraying each other. We should be happy actually knowing that our Lord Jesus Christ told us about this time beforehand and that time that he told about beforehand is here. So we have got to live knowing that the mark of the beast is here. If coronavirus is introduce the mark of the beast but the actual mark of the beast will come with the vaccination of coronavirus in as the bible says in revelation 13 verses 12 it will fulfill the mark of the beast to 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 support coronavirus so mark revelation 13 verses 1 to to, to 11 it introduces the mark of the beast it introduces coronavirus then after that the corona the vaccination will be brought in as the Bible says in Revelation 13, verses 12, to support the beast. We've got to stand and say, no, we know we are Christians. We should not take the mark of the beast. And we've got to live knowing that we are living at the end of the age. And we've got to live knowing that those that say no to the, to the, to, to the vaccination, they will not be allowed to travel. They will not be allowed to, to buy or sell. But we should say no to the mark of the beast, knowing that our Lord will provide for us. If we need food, you provide. Whatever we need, you provide. Our own is to say no to the mark of the beast. We should not accept it. Under any circumstances, we should say no. We have got to live knowing that it is coming and we've got to prepare ourselves to, to say no to it because it's not of God, it's of the devil. The Bible says in Matthew 24 verses 27, For as the lightning flashes 
in the earth and, and shines to the west. I, I, so I'll, I'll read it again. For as the light, lightning flashes in the east and shines to the west, so it will be when the Son of Man comes. So after all this mark of the beast, when it is forced upon people and Christians are persecuted and they say no, they are persecuted, they are arrested, they are taken to prison and they say no, and they suffer, they are persecuted and they stand and they say no, then our Lord Jesus Christ will appear. So we've got to live knowing that what we are seeing now or what we're about to go through now is just the signs of what, of the age, of the age, end of the age. It's just the signs of what he said will happen before he comes. What he said about in, in Matthew 24, 9, that there will be persecution, people will be arrested. It's about to happen. But when we see it happening, we should know that we belong to him. We are his followers and we should hold on to him. We should not deny him. We should not betray others. We should not fight against others. But we should unite and know that our Lord Jesus will see us through and he will be with us and he will support us and he can he will comfort us and he will encourage us and he will, he will bring us to the end of it and he then he will appear in the sky and we will see him and then we will go with him it is only those that will stand and say no to the mark of the beast that will be able to go with him when he appears because Christians will go through it after they've gone through it for how long I don't know but after they've gone through it then that is when he will appear in the sky you will not appear on the ground you will appear in the sky and those that will have managed to say no to the mark of the beast wherever they will be whether they will be in the prison or wherever they will be able to see him appear in the sky and they will be then you send his angels and the angels will blow the trumpet and the trumpet will gather all of them that said no to the mark of the beast and then they will go with him and meet with him in the sky and they will go with him with the, we will go with them to heaven but only those that say no to the mark of the beast and only those that stand and say no during the time of persecution that is coming during the time of whatever they will do to Christians that is coming only those that will stand and say no will be able to go through and then he will come and go with them but those that accept the, the mark of the beast because they want to enjoy life here on earth they want to buy and sell they will not be able to go with him. So we've got to stand our ground and say no, so that when he comes, we'll be able to go with him. I just wanted to let you know what time we're living in, that we are now at the end of the age, and that all those signs of the end if have now started happening and appearing. So we have got to stand our ground and say no to the mark of the beast.